What's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install Android 9.0 Pi the latest version of Android on your Kenzo the Redmi Note 3 Pro and yeah I have actually stressed this video a long time because I wanted to make sure that the installation process is extremely easy and almost everything is working and then again even though the Redmi Note 3 now has treble the treble roms weren't actually working that great so yeah it was worth to wait for the source code release and there you go here is the Pixel 3 experience. So as you can see, you have all the features from Android Pie and literally everything is working from the Volti to the Goodix fingerprint scanner to the camera, Bluetooth, everything is just working fine. For example, let's just test the fingerprint scanner. Tap. There you go. Pretty quick over there. And then again, my fingerprint scanner is actually a Goodix one. So FPC works for sure. Again, camera is working. The portrait mode is actually broken right now, but the camera quality actually is just amazing because it's a Google camera port. The HDR plus is just mind blowing. Then again, the app opening times and all other stuff, there is no lag at all, unlike on other phones. Pretty nice job by the developers. Again, you have very limited amount of apps over here. You also get the newer contacts app. Then again, you have working FM radio. Here is your newer quick settings panel looks pretty nice and this is actually pixel experience rom so yeah you are getting literally everything that pixel 3 would be getting and the pixel 2 already had so for example the theme you have the blue accents over here even if you go to the smaller inner tabs if you go to battery battery manager as you can see you have those beautiful animations over here pretty nice touch and then again you also have digital well-being over here well this is not a huge thing but it will surely help you get uh, extra juice out of the snapdragon 650 like just draining your battery but it's still in beta but works pretty great you have some options like grayscaling your device as you can see android version 9 pr1 release one of the first releases of android 9 stable there you go looks pretty good and here is your all new recent apps panel yeah, you can actually also directly copy text from over here, which is a very nice thing. And I have actually explained everything about Android Pie into my earlier review. So let's just get to the installation. So the prerequisites over here are a PC and an unlocked bootloader. If you have not already unlocked your bootloader, I don't know what you are doing with your phone. It's like a 2.5 year old phone. And now if you go to unlock your phone, you might be just stuck for two months. Yes, I'm not even kidding. So let's just hop onto your PC. And now that we are onto your PC, you will need these five files. Yes, these mere five files over here. Cause I have made this installation as simple as possible for everyone to understand. But still, if it's going over your head, just use your phone with Marshmallow and you will be happy. Just first of all, grab this 12 IMG over here and put it inside this ADB folder. Open the ADB folder, grab your phone now and hold on your power and volume down at the same time. If you are already unlocked your bootloader, you know how to get into the fast boot mode. Just like that. Connect the phone to your PC. Then open CMD and type in fast boot devices. If it shows a random number and fast boot over there, that means your device has been successfully connected. Then type in fast boot flash recovery, hit space and then just drop this 12 IMG over here. Hit enter and just like that you have installed a custom recovery on your Redmi Note 3. Just grab your phone and now hold on power and volume up. And just like that, now we are into the recovery. So first of all, you have to actually wipe your whole internal storage. Yes, just take a whole backup of your phone first of all. So go to wipe, format data and type in yes. This is to actually remove the stupid encryption of MIUI. Just like that, again, go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik system data cache. Swipe to wipe and there you go. Now our internal storage is actually usable. Just go ahead and close the CMD and ADB folder. Go to this PC, Redmi Note 3. It will be automatically detected over there. And just drag in these three files, which would be the camera API 2, the Gcam and the actual ROM. Once all the files have been copied, you can just go ahead and, and just shut it down and go ahead to your phone, go to install, select pixel experience, add more zips, select camera API 2, confirm to flash. Yes, it's that dead simple compared to my other videos. Now this would take around three to five minutes. And once both of the zips have been installed, just go ahead and reboot system. Now this will again take one to three minutes. And now that the phone has been finally booted, it took about one to three minutes. Now literally I'm recording this part the next day cause I went to movies and I had a severe headache. So yeah, I'm extremely sorry if the video is delayed, but let's just go to start. Let's just skip this part altogether. And there you go, there's the first setup. Now we have to actually run the pixel setup. So that would be also into the quick settings panel, finish setup. I know it's weird, it could be also integrated into the normal setup, but yeah, Google just thought to separate it. So yeah, start, connect to a mobile network later, skip. Don't copy, skip, skip, next, fingerprint and pattern. Just touch the sensor lightly, just like that. No thanks. 
all set and there you go your phone has been finally set up now as you can see there is no camera but there is a normal camera app over here but it doesn't have anything so you'll be just going to the app info disable disable the app and then again go to files go to redmi note 3 scroll down gcam p or it would be any other app if i just find something better install it open allow 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 allow, allow. okay there you go there is the gcam fully working pretty nice then we will just keep it over here and that's pretty much it guys that's how you install android pi 9.0 stable on your redmi note 3 i hope you guys enjoyed and if you found this helpful please drop a like subscribe down there and see in the next one peace